welcome to the Step 1 of Your Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about glycogen. Glycogen is composed of glucose linked to each other via alpha-1-4 bonds, and every now and then, there are branches formed by alpha-1-6 bonds. Glycogen is stored in the skeletal muscles in the liver and hepatocytes. In the muscles, it's used for movement, and in the liver, it's used to maintain the blood sugar levels. Glycogen synthesis starts with glucose. Via glycolysis, it is converted into glucose 6-phosphate, and then phosphoglucomutase transfers the phosphate from the 6 position to the 1 position. UDP glucose phosphorylase then activates it, turning it into UDP glucose. It is the activated UDP glucose that acts as a substrate that can be used to make the alpha-1,4 linkages by glycogen synthase. After a long enough chain has been made, an enzyme literally called branching enzyme will cleave a portion of the chain and move it down and make an alpha-1,6 branch. This process continues growing the glycogen molecule as needed. To retrieve the glucose from glycogen, it can be done by phosphorylating the glucose molecules one at a time, generating glucose 1-phosphate by the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase. When a branch gets close to the main chain, another enzyme called 4 alpha d gluconotransferase debranching enzyme will cleave the oligosaccharide leading up to the branch point, while leaving the lone branched glucose. It then attaches this oligosaccharide to the end of the chain, which glycogen phosphorylase can continue to catabolize. The lone glucose attached by an alpha-1,6 bond is removed by another debranching enzyme called alpha-1,6 glucosidase. This process is repeated as needed, or until the glycogen has been fully metabolized. A small amount of glycogen can be broken down by alpha-1,4 glucosidase, an enzyme in the lysosome that turns it directly into glucose. That's all for this lesson, Step 1 of you. We'll see you in the next video.